Hey, what is up you guys? This is ZK, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a sliding door to your zombies map, right? This is continuing my large tutorial series that I have going, and I'm going to keep making videos as long as you guys keep asking for more because I want to help you guys out and get you guys able to build the greatest zombies maps in history. Yes! Okay, uh, first thing we're going to do to build a sliding door is you're going to have to right-click on your two-dimensional view and go to Script Brush Model, okay? And you're going to get... Uh, this right here that you design so uh, I mean a brush that you design sorry uh, but you can't just go like this okay you can't just you know build your door like this and then you know texturize it and then call it good because it's not a script a brush model it's just a brush model it's known as a model and it's not going to be able to do anything in game so if you try to make a sliding door out of this you're going to get a script compile error and your map is going to get all messed up so in order to fix this you need to right click on anywhere in the two-dimensional view while you have your door selected hit script and hit brush model alright so there you go now you can see that when you zoom in on it, it says script brush model right next to it so that is what you want and now oh, this grid is really small let me or really big let me fix that alright so now we have our viable door right there through the place that we want to build it and uh, let me right click on it and push N and this is gonna bring up the entity editor the entity editor Ent entity ed editor oh my goodness that's hard to say okay <laughs> so the first thing you need to type in is target name okay and this can be whatever you want I'm just gonna call it door number one you can call it Superman rocks whatever doesn't it's cool with me whatever okay next thing is spawn flags one okay spawn flags one and uh, all of this stuff that I'm mentioning here will be in the description so all these KVPs will be there so you don't have to worry about missing them in this video they'll be right down there in black and white um, next thing is script of script vector okay now underneath here zero 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 okay that's what you need to start out with let me just push enter really quick if I left it like that the door would not move at all now each of these zeros represents a direction on the map so for example this zero on the front may represent uh, moving to the left. So if I put 100, the door would move 100 units to the left. Now it changes with every map because every person starts out his map with, in a different direction. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how to determine which direction is which. But uh, the first one here, like for example, it might be left and right. This one might be up. Here, let me use the mouse. Uh, this one right here might be left and right. Uh, this one right here might be up and down, and this one might be forward and backwards. So I ha really have no idea um, which one is which in every map. It changes with every map because every map is facing a different direction. So really it's just a matter of trial and error. So I'm just going to do 100, okay? Now let's say that I put 100 here and the door slides to the left, okay? And now then you know that this one right here is left and right. So the, this one, then you want it to move right though, because this one, that would make this one like maybe up and down, and this one, uh, this one right here, forward and backwards. Well, if it moves, if this one would move it left, 100 degrees here would move it left, then you want it to move it right, you just put negative 100 degrees, okay? So it's just the opposite. So if, I hope that makes sense to you guys. I'm going to have that, and hopefully it'll slide to the left, but, you know, who knows? It's, it's a matter of trial and error, all right? So go ahead, and now you're done after adding those three KVPs. Right-click in your two-dimensional view, go to Script. All right, no, sorry, not Script. Uh, trigger, and then hit Use. So you want to back... Oh, man, what am I talking about? Uh, if you're familiar with any of my other videos, you know that a trigger is what it, um, the game detects as the area that a player needs to be in, or a player that... Da -da -da. An area that the player needs to be touching in order for the sign to come up that says hold F to buy the door or whatever, you know. So just put it wherever the character's face will be when you're trying to buy the door. And uh, hit N. And now we're going to enter in, I think, five KVPs or something like that. So uh, target name is the first one. And you need to type in zombie door, okay? Now this target name has to be zombie door. You can't put, you know, anything you want. This one, it has to be that way. So the next thing that you put in is you need to put in target. And the target is whatever uh, this door right here is. So whatever you named it, that target name. So mine, in my case, was door number one. So I'm going to hit that. Target door one. And once you hit that, if you did it correctly, you will see a blue line connecting the door to the trigger. Okay? So that means you did it right. Next thing is script noteworthy. 
Da da. And what is it again? Magic door. So I type in magic underscore door. All right. So then I think there's two more. Yep, two more. Zombie cost. Okay. And obviously this is the cost of the door. How much it costs. Now you cannot put any price you want to on this door. Similar to the way you can't put any price you want to on buyable debris. Um, you have to put uh, 100, 200, 250, 500, 750, 1000, 1250, 1500, and 2000. All those prices will be in the description of this video. Uh, you have to put that price because that's the only ones that the game has scripted in there right now. Um, it, you can script in other ones, but you know I'm not covering that in this video. It's a simple process, but that's not in this video. Okay, so we're just going to put uh, 750 because that's always the price of the first door. Well, it is usually. Oh, whoops. And uh, the last thing you need to put in is uh, script flag. Okay. Now this this um would activate a zone. So if you have if you don't have a clue what a zone is, or if you're having trouble with them, make sure you go to my channel and check out my zoning tutorial. Um, I think it's the video right before this one in the tutorial series. But uh, you can see here that I have two zones encompassing the two different rooms on my map. Okay, The first one right here, you can see that there's a yellow line connecting uh, this zombie spawner with the center of the zone. You can see it stops right here in the center of the zone. And uh, what that tells the game is that the player needs to be inside this zone for that zombie to spawn generally. Uh, you can see I have a couple different spawners attached to this zone. But anyway, zones are only activated once they've been you know, activated by a trigger, which is a trigger that opens a door. So technically, when I open up this door, I'm activating all these zombie spawners that are in here. But that's covered in that zoning tutorial video, and it'll show you how to set all that stuff up. Uh, it's a complicated process because it requires a little scripting. But, uh, I mean, like, it's complicated if you don't know what you're doing. But anyway, I'm not talking about that in this video. I'm just telling you how to connect this door to the zone. So I need to check and find out what the name of this, this zone is because I'm activating this zone. So, oh, okay, it's zone one. Simple enough. So hit the trigger, script vector, or, I mean, the script flag, zone one. All right? And there you go. That's all you have to do to make a viable door. So let's save it. And we'll head over here and compile it. It shouldn't take too long. My computer's pretty fast. Oh, but it, it does get a slightly slower considering I have a couple of programs running here for recording. <laughs> Cinematic subtitle. I will be making a video on how to make a co-op load screen fairly soon here. I know I did a solo load screen before and I mentioned that I don't know how to do a co-op screen. That is not true anymore because I do know how to make a co-op screen now. Uh, after lots and lots of hard work, it is finally done, and it's very rewarding to see a co-op load screen in, in your map when you're playing it on co-op. looks much more professional than having that, you know, pink and red box thing. But, uh, yeah, I will be coming out with that soon. I just want to, you know, do some more trial and error kind of things just to make sure that I know what I'm doing. Because I don't want to bring you guys stuff that doesn't work, because... I want to be fairly experienced with it so that I can help you with problems if you have them. I don't want to be giving it to you when I just figured it out because then if you have a problem, I can't really help you with it. So, uh, but, but I'm fairly experienced with this door. So, uh, map, test two. Loading activation. Why doesn't it say Treyarch? Is Treyarch the lead producer of zombies? Why does it have activation? Oh, that's right. I turned off the zombie. Anyway, uh, hold Alt to open door seven. Give me a second, please. The I had the volume way too high. Um. Okay. So let me purchase this door uh, for seven fifty. Let me restart the level. Proceed again. Like that. Okay, now let me turn up the volume so you can hear the cool uh, sound effects in the background when you buy the door. One second. Just listen. Okay, that's pretty sweet, isn't it? 
But uh, yeah, that's my tutorial on creating a sliding door. Uh, if, it, if you build one and it doesn't move the right direction, just keep trying different things. Try the next zero or try the next zero. But uh, one thing to keep in mind is if you do have it move a direction, you have to keep those other two zeros in there. You can't just put 100. It has to be 100 space zero space zero or, you know, you know, whatever. And remember, negatives will make the opposite direction. And uh, I think what you probably could do is put like 100 and then space 100 space 0 and then see if you can move it like diagonal directions too. But I don't know. I've never tried that. So I hope this video helped you with sliding doors. If you have any questions, send me a PM here on YouTube at Burnson Videos. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on my next video. This is ZK signing off.